Hello again, and welcome to Shadow Speak 10. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, conclude uh, my uh, series here on Shadow Speak today. This is going to be my last series on Shadow Speak. <clears throat> and um, in this conclusion, I wanted to um, try to be as complete as possible in trying to. Uh, create an understanding of what Shadow Speak is about and how it relates to the collective shadow that Carl Jung spoke of and how it relates to demonology or the shadow self and the, the collective shadow. So, um, and then I'll, I want to uh, try to go over some of the facts that we've learned and uh, go over some of the um, uh, misconceptions and uh, falsehoods and fallacies and of this uh, phenomenon, and uh, is it true or not? Well, you know, people can make their own judgment, and um, from what I can tell, it's like uh, a mathematician. A mathematician will have all kinds of um, uh, numbers and algebraic equations that they know of, and they know they work, and they they exist within that mathematician's mind, and the same thing works for, like, a, a shadow speaker, or somebody that is clairvoyant, or somebody that is able to understand the workings of the shadow, and the shadow work, and the shadow self, and the collective shadow, well, they know some of these equations, simile of equations with the mathematician about the shadow work that the mathematician would not know of, so to the mathematician, this shadow stuff would be nonsense, but and, and, and it can work vice versa in that matter. So uh, that's what I'm trying to get at there. And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's it's both, you know, it depends on the person, okay? So if you have somebody that uh, is not able to access that part of the mind or is not able to have the insights to be able to uh, know of this category of, reality that we exist in, like the shadow speak or the collective shadow, they have no knowledge of, well, it wouldn't exist for them. And that's okay, I mean, but does that mean that it doesn't exist and I've been over this? No, it doesn't mean it doesn't. It does exist. It's part of the whole big cosmos of reality. So it's, it's something that can exist, it's something that probably does exist within it, but it's not necessary for everybody, like I said, with the mathematician and the and the clairvoyant, and then you got other various uh, uh, categories of, uh, of uh, uh, knowledge and uh, insights and uh, people that can do stuff. So <clears throat> that's why I wanted to just clear up there. And then, so I want to go over, you know, what we talked about, what I talked about on the, uh, on the uh, collective shadow and also how it relates to demonology, and then how it relates to this concept of shadow speak. So first we got collective shadow, and is there a connection there with demonology? I think so, and uh, the reason is because uh, <clears throat> collective shadow and uh, uh, demonology, I mean, you can read some of Carl Jung's works. He studied uh, people that had paranoid schizophrenia in depth, and a lot of people believe that people that have that illness were possessed anyway, so it's like, you know, I mean, there's something there, and Carl Jung knew this when he did his studies, and uh, that's how he came up with the concept, these uh, science, psychological concepts of the, 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 the collective shadow and the shadow self and all that, because of this connection is with that and these demons and demonology. <clears throat> so yeah, there's a connection there. I mean, the more I get into it, the more vague it's going to get, the more uh, shadowy it's going to get. It's not going to be very uh, clear cut on what's true and what's real and what's false. So I'm not going to, I'm going to try to stick to what is real and what is true and facts. So the fact is, there is a collective shadow. The fact is, there is a collective uh, shadow or a shadow self, and uh, and uh, to go any further than that, well, that's when things get shady and uh, 
come further from truth, so I'm going to just leave that at that. And then there is a connection between uh, shadow and uh, demonology, but then when you get into demonology, that's when things get shady too. The more, the more I get delve into that, the more uh, you know, you come up with a bunch of uh, fiction. It, it's just it's like a uh, movie type stuff. So uh, I'll just leave that at that. I'm not. I'm not I don't even know why, well, to delve into that, I mean, you get into all kinds of stuff, and the further you go into something, the less true, true it becomes, depending on what uh, angle you go through, what uh, arrow or path of study you go through in that field of study, so, I mean, I, you know, people think, you know, oh, oh well, anyway. Okay, so, um, and then uh, how does that connect to the, the shadow speak? And that's what I'm going to focus on for the rest of this final, um, final uh, essay here on shadow speak. The conclusion is the shadow speak. And uh, the reason why I brought this up is because I have witnessed it. I have observed it within my own mind and it's kind of like a ESP telepathy type thing and it's kind of like picking up on these vibrational wave patterns of people's emotional or psychological makeup and it's something that just came naturally to me when I you know, started being able to see between the lines and uh and then it progresses into a type of telepathy and uh, what, from what i understand and, and i'm not going to beat around the bush here i'm going to tell it like it is from what i understand with this shadow speak and from what i've witnessed is that first you have insights and it, ha it has to do with other other, other persons and you have insights in that person which come, you know, just from a, a, you know, seeing the person at first, first, uh, first hand, you know, like a, and then and you pick up on some uh, negative, usually it's negative for me, you pick up on these negative uh, characteristics or traits, and a lot of times it's positive too, but, uh, and then, it can go a step further to where you're able to pick up on the person's I wouldn't say uh, their thoughts exactly not exactly what their thoughts are but it's a wording of their thoughts that is cast but it's like an overview of what their emotional uh, uh, or, or their intents are, or something like that. They, they, they be words that come out in their voice, but it's not actually their thoughts or voice. That is, that is not exactly what they are thinking. You know what I mean? It's a little spin-off on exactly what they're thinking, so that way you're not telepathically knowing exactly what they're thinking, but you're gaining great insight into that person's uh, well-being, that person's uh, intents, that person's uh, psychological makeup, and all stuff like that. So, um, uh, so as far as shadow speak with the light, shadow speak with the heavy shadow speak, yeah, you can pick up uh, all kinds of stuff with uh, people, the way they dress, you know, the, the movements they make with their hands, and uh, uh, different uh, things. Even person's DNA, of characteristics or personalities that cannot be changed. You can pick up on that type of stuff too. So. <clears throat> and uh, usually, you know, that shouldn't be you know, a problem or anything. But when you come across, you know, stuff that's like, you know, is this person, you know, what's his intent? What's this person's intent? What is this person's uh, motive? You meet something, and it's real easy if you uh, <clears throat> train real hard in this subject in the shadow work 
to pick up on that stuff right away. I mean, you will know right away what this person's intense, hidden intents, or, or uh, uh, stuff like that is. So that's where shadow speak is very beneficial and uh, can help a person to do stuff. So and so that's basically what I want to point out with that. So shadow speak is, uh, I think, a real thing, but is it? Clairvoyance, well, that's where, you know, like I said, with the demonology and the shadow, collective shadow and the shadow speak and all that, well, you know, it's like, the further you delve into it, the less truth there's going to be, depending on what path you go down. And then you got to separate what's true from what's false, and it becomes a big mess. So you just want to keep it simple when you're dealing with the telepathy and the clairvoyant studies and stuff like that. Keep it simple and uh, uh, do your shadow work within the self to clear the bad memory cells and uh, do meditations. I have a hypnosis script where you can relax and be able to unwind and be able to uh, gain a inner peace and at the same time clear the subconscious. And what I found also that I wanted to mention after all this, you know, uh, stuff I've been doing, I have been able to take this subconscious mind of my own and, and kind of clear it out to where, yeah, there's, I think there's still subconscious, but the subconscious been, has been lifted to where it has become part of the awareness or the conscious mind. And uh, it really clears up your thoughts that way. And, and it's like the con subconscious is like saying, you know, all this stuff is just not stuffed in, in, in the subconscious. All this bad stuff is just not stuffed in there. It's like free. It's, it's like plumped out and, and it's gone from the subconscious. And that takes a lot of time, depending on what kind of uh, bad stuff is, uh, memories and stuff has happened to you and uh, to clear it all out. And, Depending on your motives and your own personal intents, and uh, and being able to uh, recognize your own uh, faults and clear that out, that's part of shadow work too. Like I said, with the seven deadly sins and all that, you know, you gotta try to find some balance within the self to where you can. Because uh, if you're going around with the intent or whatever to. Uh, doing the seven deadly sins, well that's not a good thing and, and that's not going to help you progress with the subconscious mind thinking. So, uh, that, that will conclude this whole thing on shadow speak and uh, hmm, I guess we'll, uh, everything continues and uh, Searching for the truth about these things still continues, and uh, it's ongoing, and it, uh, I don't know, it, I'm sure that, you know, some people are going to find the truth about this stuff, and, uh, and, uh, and then it's going to continue, there'll be something else, and it'll be ongoing, and then it'll just continue and continue down the line, so I just thought I'd put my thoughts out there on this, on this, that I... I have witnessed and observed and all that and what I know about it and stuff like that and, and, and put it on video just for myself and for anybody else who may be interested and uh, this will be it so on this uh, essay and subject. Hope you enjoyed and goodbye.